and we want your blood. This sound effect was achieved with the built-in effect right inside of Premiere Pro, no third-party plugin. Hello guys, my name is Joshua Omian and I am the VFS artist for Filmic Star Production. We did The Rise of Zeros. If you haven't checked out the movie Rise of Zeros is showing now on YouTube on our channel, Filmic Star Production, you can go there and check it out. Today's tutorial is going to be concerned about the sound effects we did for no exorcism. Please, can you do a video tutorial for the voice effect? My name is Katrina. I am Stephanie. Very nice. I will have to delete every unwanted layer that I don't need. So I will just solo the two I need and delete this. Are we on solo layer one so we can hear? My name is Katrina. Every effect in track layer two affects the layer two. Every effect in the track missile layer one affects this layer one. My name is Katrina. So if I double click, you see this is the original audio file I play. My name is Katrina. The two layers are the same. The nested sequence are the same. The reason there's a duplicate is one is going to carry the major effect and one is going to retain a bit of the original audio so we don't lose it that much. For the nested sequence, you, if, as you can see, one is ahead of the other. I moved one one frame ahead so I can get this effect as if it's to I talking chorus or kind of a partial reverb. Let me just delete this effect so we start afresh. Just so you know, I didn't use the effect control to apply any effect. The effect was being applied in the track mixer because I want that entire region of the layer to be affected. So that's why I used the track mixer. I feel it's an efficient way to, to apply effect to audio channel because the entire channel will just carry the same effect. No need for copy and paste, copy and paste. And that was the main reason why I did that nested sequence so that I can just apply the effect to all the audio clip because we have to cut and align them with the video. So the first effect I'm going to be applying is the denoise. The denoise helps to remove um, background noise from the audio. I'm going to set this to 52. My name is Katrina. I'm going to set this to 52. The next effect I want to add is the parametric EQ. This is for voice balancing. So I'll just take down the low. I'm not going to go into details on this. If you want details on this, you can request for a tutorial for that. The next effect I want to apply is the shifter, the pitch shifter. This is where the magic starts to happen, the pitch shifter. So I'm going to move to the left hand side, minus two. You can either use this slider to control it or you use this other one here to control it. If I play back. My name is Katrina. My name is Katrina. So the next effect we're going to be adding is the delay. Yeah, we're going to be adding the delay effect. On that delay, we're going to set to 0 0.380. And on that feedback, we're going to set to 25. Finally, the mix so I'm going to set to 18. My name, My name is, is Katrina. Katrina. Then the next effect I'm going to apply is the convolution reverb. Under the impulse, we go to inside shower um, door closed. I want to apply this one. That is what we need for the first layer. If I play back, my name, my name is, Katrina. is Katrina. I will unmute solo layer two. We we'll start working on this. My name is Katrina. We just drag and drop. We copy the effect to reduce to. 42 or 36 any of anyone works best we just copy the same parametric eq i will just readjust a bit 
that is the reason for this layer tool the reason for this layer tool is to maintain the original audio so we don't lose it i'm going to add filter fft filter and we're just going to select the cassette tape here my name is katrina and the next effect i'm going to apply is the scientific filter this filter is just to give it a little bit of you know um clarity then we'll go for the next one the pitch shifter now remember the first pitch shifter we went to the left hand side but now we're going to dial up to the right hand side i want to take this one up to two or one i think one works best or two let's just leave it one my name is katrina my name is katrina and we want your blood don't forget that this is just a tutorial you have the right to do whatever you want to do you can also move forward to give your detail taking channel one to the left right left hand side channel two to the right hand side just to hear or look for a way to balance your audio my name is katrina my name is katrina our next tutorial might be a vfx tutorial but if you want to know how we're able to achieve this color grading we did right inside of adobe premiere pro or davinci resolve depending on the one you're using just make your request in the comment section below and i want to tell you how we went from this to that we shot with a black magic pocket 4k cinema camera we did the nigeria flash we did the rise of zeros we did the den of africa jungle and we have done all that creative content please support us any way you can i hope you enjoyed this video Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button for more tutorials coming up next every week, such as the likes of Zyra's VFS breakdown and all its effect tutorials right on this channel. Nevertheless, anticipate new movies from us. We love you guys. <laughs> Have you tasted a demon before? I bet you love it. No exorcism can free us.